All right, let's take a look at this. First of all, let me get my recruiting station shit out of the way. Thank you. You're not known to be a humble man. Thank you very much, Jax Taylor. Thank you for the three months. So what do we have? We we got we've been given a ton of containers. We can look at that first. Okay, dockyard. One month left to build a ship. Let's take a look at this. Let's have a look. See. Whoa. Okay. Okay. We've already seen. I want to see how because we saw this on PTS. And <coughs> On PTS, this was very promising, but I have heard some things. The ship is built automatically, sure. Rewards for completing, sure. Boosted. <coughs> okay. How can you earn them? From daily shipments, by completing directives, by completing daily missions. Okay. And the main reward is this. Time till start, three days. Okay. Time remaining until automatic shipbuilding commences. You can start building the ship earlier with the help of boosters. Okay, okay. Thank you, Ramsa, for the 90 months. Wow, so glad I just 50 euros on some camos, okay. clinking beer mugs. So this is the activation. Boost for free. And this is really 200 of these. Okay, or alternative. How much is 6,000? 8,000. 10,000! Holy shit, so just that's just to boost it. That's not even to complete it, that's just to boost it. That's like 20, what, 24,000 doubloons? 24,000 doubloons. Uh, wait, hold on. How much? Doubloons are pretty expensive though. How much does doubloons cost? Hold on. Doubloons, 24,000 doubloons. Let's see, doubloons, doubloons. Uh, the mother loan, where the fuck is, where, where's just doubloons, 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 here we go. 10,000 is, whoa, wait. 14,000 is almost 50 euros? So if I wanted to buy 24,000 doubloons, I need to buy both of these packs, which is 80 euros. That's 80 euros just to boost that. That's not even to complete that. that. That's the price of any any other premium ship. How much like normal ships are well like what? 60 at the worst? Now this is like an admiral pack. What's a normal ship? A normal ship can be like oh, it's nowhere close to this. A 60-ish. 60 for the freest one, which is tier 9. So this is 80 just to boost it. Okay. That's just to boost it. That's not even to complete. That's apparently just to boost it. How much does it do? Did it doesn't even boost it a lot. Okay, it boosts this by 104, 6, 6 million, 7. Okay, so how much do you need to complete it? 51 million! Wait, this isn't even half then. This isn't even close to half. This is like, hold up, this is like 11, 12, 18? So that's like 18, just 80 million, and that's like already 80 euros. Okay, uh, that's getting, that's getting pretty, okay, maybe, the, let's see, let's check out, maybe the directives are, what about maybe the missions? Daily missions? Okay, do we have any good daily challenges related to this? Combat missions. Holidays right ahead. These are Grecia. Okay, this is just. These are different. Different. No, we don't. Oh, here we go. Shipbuilding tokens. Well, these look pretty simple. You, wait, you only get how many tokens? Four. Four tokens? That's not a whole lot. Wait, didn't you need like hundreds to build something? Okay, let me go. One, one, one quick look again. Build shit, wasn't it like? Yeah, that's like two hundred to build an upgrade, and it just keeps going down here. And they 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 become like three hundred and fifty. They get more expensive real fast. So you get four from a mission chain. Okay, that's that sounds like a lot of work. 
Uh, what about the directives? Okay, and the new directive is now available. New Year is coming in hot. So th this is where... You oh, you get 200 for completing a full directive. You need to complete six of these to get one upgrade. Cause 165,000... Whoa! That's like two and a half withers. Just for one. Okay. That's not Obviously, gonna be the real. That's gonna be fine. Well it's not too bad. The wife is yelling. Thank you for the tier two thirty-five months. And to an extent, get the air is hundred. Set on fire. Hashtag to leak. To that, hashtag huh? fix the game. For the defended or captured, destroy sixty-five ships. Whoa. This is wait. How much is this? Two point three million. That's not too bad. This one is insane, though. That's a lot of credits. That's 12 million credits. You have to complete six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can't get away without doing these. These are 4 million credit ones. Okay. This is not too bad. This is the first one. This is only in... Were there any limitations? Must be completed. Okay. No, this, it doesn't seem too bad. This seems doable. What? Okay. So that's the first one. This directive will be available in five days. In the playful mode, 250. Get 150 hits to Citadel or 150 set on fire. Okay. Cause 5.6 million damage to ships. Receive 30. Wait, is this fucking. Is this isn't. Wait, this isn't 3.6. This is. 36 million potential damage. What's the reward? One flag? 36 million is one flag. Uh okay, that's like that's like a lot of grind. Wisdom of the ages, 85,000 base XP. Your average, pl I mean, a good player will earn about 2k per game, maybe a bit more. So that's like well over 20 games. A bad, uh, like your average player is probably going to be sitting around 1k base. So that's 85 battles. What do you get for 85 battles? You get one shipbuilding container. That's pretty yikes. How many did you need? I guess you need to complete 6 again to get to the next stage. Earn... 400,000 XP? What? Wait, what? 400,000 XP? This is like more than grinding a tier 10 ship. What? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Have I remembered these values completely wrong? Isn't it like... Grinding... Isn't it like grinding? This this is like something 240, 230 k XP to get to a tier 10. So, 400,000 XP, that's like more than a tier 10 ship. Isn't that, f that's fucking insane. That's like tier 8 to tier 10, not tier 9 to tier 10. Aircraft carriers, okay, this is... There's already so much to grind. Okay. Uh, if someone said that you probably need to do all directives to have a chance to get the ship. This is already going to be a lot of work. Does it, like, does it get easier? Launch the fireworks. This directive will be available in 9 days. Wait, so how many days do you have? 5... Oh, so you got like only 4 days to complete it? Okay. Destroy 72 ships. Holy shit. One container. Obviously, the environment down Thank here is Thank you, Janice, soft. for the 28 months. The ceiling's soft, the soft, the walls are soft. A series and of devastating blows. Get 130 hits Did you see up. that you need to earn yeah. half a billion credits on one part? Wait, really? Let me see that. Uh, shipbuilding container. 130 hits. Hit the enemy ships 4,500 times with secondary battery. Wait, how many days do you have to complete? Four days! Holy shit, that's insane how hard that is! Earn... Wait, what? That's 320,000... What? 105,000 base XP? Are they drunk? 
Holy shit, how fucking drunk are they? What kind of 105,000 base XP? Are you kidding me? I play this game like every day for 8 hours. I don't know if I can complete this shit. What the hell? That's so much base XP. What, and you get one shipbuilding container? That's actually ridiculous. And then there's the, every one of these is also 48k base. Holy shit. Introducing Gorizia. Oh, so if you get Gorizia, you can do it a bit easier. Well, a bit and a bit. How much is this? This is 4 million. Okay, that's not maybe that bad. But it's still pretty absurd. That's 9 days. And then you get, you get 4 days to complete it. And then you get these things. Cause... How much? How many zeros is that? 9.3 million. Okay. Earn... What the fuck is that number? What? 950,000 XP? How? What the hell? That's so much XP. What? That's so much. Wait, it's. What? That's how we go almost grinding an entire line. Phobia, thank you for the 21. That's like an entire line. Is it April 1st in Russian calendar or what? Isn't this like literally going with tier 1 to tier 10 almost? That's more than entire... No, that's way more than an entire line. If it's like 400k to go tier 8 to tier 10, it's maybe like 6, 700k for an entire line. One mission in one directive is more than grinding an entire line from tier 1 to tier 10. How does that make any sense? That's insane! Well, Ian, well, thank you for the 13. And these are 27k base. Fucking each. slaves, get your ass back here. This is insanity. This is actually insanity. Face cam, do I have to dig up my face cam? Come on, dude, I'm, try I'm trying to like look at this way. You're not gonna be getting any green screen then this time? What the fuck? What? what? Let me see, let me do fine. Let me turn it on real fast. Jesus fucking Christ. This is there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. that's pointing at my coffee. Is it on? Yeah. Look at my hair. Look at the green screen missing with the window. Holy shit, I got the green screen filter on. Whatever. It can't be helped. This is insane! This is so insane. You were here? <laughs> Whatever. I just woke up. You can't be. I, I've had. I have. A, I've had a busy day. So. What the hell? Man? Look at the top of his head. <laughs> so you got what? Thirteen days, and then. That's four. Day, Thirteen to eleven. Seventeen. That's four days to grind more than one entire line. How the hell are you supposed to have find the time? Isn't this like, this is the holiday season. This is Christmas season. Isn't it like a time of giving? Earn... How many fucking credits is that? Wait, what? That's 20 million credits. Earn 20 million credits. What? Earn 150,000 base XP? What the shit? That's so much. That's almost as much XP as grinding. What? Receive 40. How many zeros is that? Hold on. 47 million potential damage. Holy shit. Aircraft carriers. Earn. Holy sh 350,000 XP of so what they're grinding tier 8 to tier 10 again. That's basically what they're good doing for one mission. This is insane. Earn 50,000 base XP. How many days? 17 to... Four days again! Who the fuck plays this? Who can even play this game this much? A sea of credits. Earn another 20 million credits. Another 150,000 base XP. Another 350,000 XP. They must be dr 
2,700 ribbons! Who comes up with these numbers? 7,200 secondary hits. Obviously the environment hits. down here is all soft. The, the ceiling's soft, what the, the floor's soft, shit? the walls are soft, and to an extent the air is soft. Who's supposed to have time for this Greetings shit? Greetings from the WGPR department. <laughs> we understand your concerns but rest assured we have done the maths and the spreadsheet says this can all be completed with only a limited 10 hours a day playtime flame <laughs> Right? And then, then there's a final. This is gonna hit like... This is gonna be like right after Christmas. Right around Chris... Like after Christmas. No, 26 days. Earn 20 million. Wait, how much XP is that? Is that... Wait, is that 110 or is that... That's a fucking million! That's a million 100,000 XP! That's... That's grinding an entire line and probably grinding a f second line! What? Who... who how is that even realistically feasible to anyone i don't see myself being able to do this and i pretty much i play this game for a living every single day and i don't see myself having any ch what in five days what Three thousand. Three hundred and fifty thousand xp 350,000, 300, what, 350, wait, 3 XP, 350,000, 3, this is how much a Nelson costs, this is the cost of, you can get an entire tier 7 battleship for this, you can get, you can get an Alaska for this, you can get a Friesland and a Nelson, you can get multiple other, other free XP ships, for the cost of making a part of a directive. What the fuck are these values? Oh, earn a mere 580,000 commander XP? What the shit? This is so fucking drunk. And that's the reward. You get 300 shipbuilding tokens. 300 shipbuilding... The, the final... They don't even, they cost more than 300, don't they? The final parts are like 350. They're 300 and you don't even get a full part of a single piece of this fucking mission by completing that. What the fuck? That's absurd. That's completely absurd. <laughs> Anyone is gonna do this? Ah, oh, we're giving away this ship for free. Oh man, it's so free. This is the freest ship giveaway ever. Holy shit. You missed the mission in Directive 7. Oh, which mission? I mean, that entire Directive 7 looked like a bad meme. Which one? And Commander. Which mission? For, like, this is so absurd. They're all so absurd. Last one? This one was... F oh, 580k Commander XP. Yeah, no, no, I saw this one. This is ridiculous. It's all ridiculous. How, like... I... Th what? And, but, like, in, in making these directives this ridiculous in making these directives this completely absurd this completely outlandishly laughably absurd making them so ridiculous they can't feasibly even be considered completed and then letting you buy your way with 80 fucking euros plus i think you have to pay some extra to finish it at the end they are they literally made it just pay for it they, they force you to pay for it it's it's not even optional. It's you you pay or you don't get the ship. But because maybe some guy who grinds 12 hours a day 
can possibly complete that by tryharding his ass off during the holiday season, they get to make, they get to take the moral high ground of, oh, we're giving it away for free, you guys. This is so free. Oh, you don't have time to grind? Well, mm, here's, right. here's my doubloons. Ah, thank you. You need to complete each directive oh, in one Jesus. day to get PR for free. Here is a spreadsheet with numbers. Oh my god, this this is literally like those guys in South Park, you know, those cable company guys who are fucking playing with their nipples all the time and, mm, oh, you can't afford it, mm, that's unfortunate. Fucking Jesus. You can pl need to complete each directive in one day to get PR for free. Are you kidding me? Holy shit, that's completely absurd. That's completely impossible. The entire ship can be bought for 58,000 doubloons or 240 euros. Of course, of course it can. This isn't the free ship. This isn't the ship giveaway. This isn't the Christmas present. This is milking you. This is forcing you into a sunk cost fallacy. This is people who start with the early directives that seem somewhat, they're, they're insane, but still somewhat doable it's forced people to put time and effort and grind and then when they get to the second directives and their or later directives and they realize oh shit there is no possible feasible way we can we have the time or we'll be able to complete these that's when they'll open their wallets and use doubloons because they feel like well, well i've already put in a week of work to get this ship so now i'm gonna use some doubloons to finish it this is wargaming just cashing in this is pure greed this is nothing else this isn't even come close to being a giveaway or free it's it's just m milking money from the player base this is completely filthy as hell and i read uh, i saw i saw on on on, uh, on reddit some there was some comments about um how apparently uh, it's okay that they're i think subactavian or someone said it's okay that they're doing this because uh, they're giving away the gorizia and apparently it's easier to get than the prince eitel friedrich he said this okay I, I want to highlight this gem. He he said this. It's uh, it's easier to get than wait. My webcam is right in the way. Let's see. Let's move my webcam up here. He said this. It's easier to get than the Prince Eitel Friedrich, uh, and it's a decent premium ship of high tier, not some T two port slot filler. This is what he claimed. And then someone, of course, you know, you know, you think the artists at Reddit are gonna let this sit. You think they're gonna be like, oh, we'll take some bacteria's word for it. No, of course they're gonna look it up. And what do they do? Well, they compiled all the directives and all this stuff and they compared it. And this is the percentual difference in just how much more difficult it is to get the Gorizia compared to the Prince Eitel Friedrich. We're not talking about, oh, 10% more effort or, oh, 20% more effort. We're talking 780% more difficult, 760, 900% in some parts. The gap is like the sunk ship ribbons. We go from 10 sunk ships to 227. We're talking thousands of percentages harder. And then, then they wonder why no one trusts what the hell they're saying anymore. This is self-inflicted. How are you supposed to trust the company when they make comments like this and then someone actually facts checks their, their comments and it ends up looking like this? How is anyone supposed to take their word for anything anymore? It's, it feels like, well, they're just shitting on the player base and so far they've been getting away with it really, really freely. It's, it's ridiculous. Can you check Discord? Oh, hello, I chase. What's up, my dude? What's going on? Oh, I chase PMing me. Oh. You need to look at Directive 5. Call me again. You can call me again, Nightshades. Wait, you need to look at Directive 5. Okay, I'll let you on call. All right. Okay, yeah, you gotta look at Directive 5 and look at the ship class required for the potential damage. Wait, what? Okay, well, what, what, what? Directive 5. Oh, is it number 7 or...? No, 5. Look at 5. 5. Which one is it? That it will receive 47 million potential damage. Look at the ship class required. Cruisers of <laughs> they, they are intentionally making this impossible. Like, they're not even pretending. They're not even pretending to make this a fun experience. This is what? 47 million, million. potential yeah. in cruisers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
I bet they're gonna be really, really surprised that there's a massive shit show going on, on Reddit. Like, hmm, uh, why are they not appreciating these free gifts we're giving at them? Hmm, I wonder. And, and you have to do it twice, by the way. There's actually 247 million potential damage that you have to do. It's twice. No. So, oh, <laughs> yeah, there's a second one. You gotta scroll down. Wait, in, in the number five? In the number five, you gotta scroll down. There's another one. Where, 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 where? Oh, here. There, right there. Oh, this American one is also German a cruise! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They're not even trying! They're not even trying to pretend anymore! This is impossible! This is a big fuck you to the entire player base. I don't know what else to call it. Holy shit. And you know what? The other thing is, you should go and totally look at the names of the individual directives. Flowery. In particular, you should look at like you do 4 and 7 you and things like that. Like two, Here four, comes seven. Look fun! The names of the world of <laughs> All money goes to Wargaming. Wargaming is good for you. Vindu All hail our Wargaming. Here comes fun. Wrapping up the celebrations. <laughs> Oh my god. Launch the fireworks in a playful mood. <laughs> oh, they're literally asking you to bend over as they're lubing up their fist. That's what they're doing. Holy <laughs> shit. I mean, how can they do this and not expect the outrage from the community? This is so far from being a reward as it can be. This is... Please sink some time and effort into grinding this so you end up spending the balloons to get the Puerto Rico. That's exactly what it is. They're not even trying to hide it. And somebody did the math on the NA forums. And what they're saying right now is that you have to... If you're, if you're a free-to-play player and you're trying to get Puerto Rico, anytime the directive drops, you have to finish it within 90 hours. <laughs> so, or, or, or 90 imagine, hours? Yep, you've got to grind. <laughs> like 1.1 million experience in Directive 7. You got to do it in 90 hours. Holy shit. I, this, this is literally, they sat there with the spreadsheet and they went, this is what is possible. Like this, this math checks out, but they, if we exclude eating and we exclude sleeping and we exclude any sort of free time whatsoever, if you play non-stop starting at this 90 hours in a row, you will be able to complete this Directive. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. Oh man. Anyways, I just wanted to point out these uh kind of insane requirements. Yeah, it's just it's... it's it's just and on and by the way, the other thing is if you look through it, one of the other things you'll notice that's different from before yeah. is there's no synergy in the directives. So you know how in the past when they did directives. Oh yeah, you could synergy? do one and you could complete yeah. another, but yeah, yeah. You they, can't they in this one. It. Yeah, they they've purposely made it so that like if there's one mission for battleships, then there's no other things that cover battleships. The other ones are destroyers or carriers or whatever. You oh, cannot. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm looking at them now, and they're all different classes. Mm -hmm. and, and different yeah, classes the, or different the, nations. Yeah, they're different... basically fucking you. Yeah. There's yeah. no way to synergize anything. Oh yeah, this is Soviet and British cruisers. Then you get Soviet, Japanese, Italian battleships. Then you get destroyers, and it's always different nation, different. They are. This, they're not even trying to hide it. It's, this is a big old fuck you to the player base. And you know what's gonna happen is that the player base is gonna show the middle finger right back at them, and now we're gonna have some juicy, juicy, sugary drama, I think. I've been reading Reddit all day and it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious. It's such a shit show. <laughs> and I bet they're really scratching their heads over there like, hmm, why don't the player base like our generous gifts? I wonder. Well, I mean, hey, look, they, they put this whole thing in terms of you know, shipbuilding, dock, <laughs> fancy graphics, all the shit. And then at the end of the day, their best answer is, oh, but you'll get a Garizia. Oh, like, yeah. That's yeah. the best answer. And, and like, did, did you oh, see that someone God. did the math on it? And it's actually yeah. much more expensive than oh, the yeah, Prince Cycle, much it. more I saw harder. It. It's go. like hundreds of percentage <laughs> points more. <laughs> I just like, and then they claimed it was actually about the same. Oh, sorry, it was easier to get than Prince Idol Friedrich. Yeah, no, and I'm like, they're, they're still claiming that. They're still saying that. But it's, it's obviously a lie. It's a complete lie. Like, I, I wonder how long they're going to keep touting that lie until they realize how oh, the time. they actually counted it. <laughs> they actually checked it out. I mean, did you actually look at the website? The way they describe the Puerto Rico is in the most casual fucking way possible. It sounds like it'll just be a walk in the park. The way they worded it on the, on the official patch note is 
just the worst thing ever because it makes it sound easy and then you think it's going to be easy and then you look at this horrid shit show that they've got running in the directives and you're just like how 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 the fuck are you ever going to Yeah but see they they, they 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 want people to start it that's the thing they want people to start it that's why they actually it's it's really sneaky in the sense that when you look at the first uh, first ones, they're they're really not that bad. Like they they got some pretty oh, nasty yeah, ones, like destroy six destroy sixty five uh, ships. But I mean, for example, the potential damage is two point three million, and it's any ship. You can play any yeah, ship yeah. you want. They get two point three. In fact, there's a lot of synergy in this first one. It's very easy to make a two point three million while at the same time getting oh, maybe hits the, the, nah, the citadels on. and shit like look this. Look up! Look up! Did you look at pyrotechnics and sparklers? Those two don't synergize. Did you look? Uh, which one? Is there even the first a first play pan they, they look Rosa. like at first they look oh. like they synergize, but look up the first two. Carriers or destroyers? Battleships or cruisers? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, they actually don't. They have a sit of, sit on fire and cause fire damage mission, but they intentionally made them so there is there's no synergy. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Uh, wow. This is... I mean, but even this, this is still pretty easy. These directives are not that bad. But they, they ramp up so fast. That's the thing. They ramp up. These are pretty... These are, these are like, look, look like a big grind. But I can yeah. still see this being doable. But then it ramps up so, so fast. It just no, and you know jumps the other thing is, and jumps like and jumps them, and jumps. That, that first one, yeah. you look at what they did. They made it so you have to click on the fucking mission to get the difference. Otherwise, oh. you don't see it. Oh, yeah, you see yeah. how fucking cruel that is? It's like you would figure that you could play one ship and do both. No, but... no, no. See, see, I thought that. I looked at them and I was like, hey, you could maybe do this at the same time. And I didn't until you mentioned no. that I have to click it and figure out that, oh, shit, they're fucking you. I didn't realize they were fucking me. Wargaming, man. Every time I think I'm good at, good at selling out, I realize that Wargaming truly is the Sith Lord. They are the dark evil <laughs> master. And I have so much to learn. I have so... I'm still like... Stabbing myself with my lightsaber in comparison to them. They know how to truly fuck the player base, man. This is this is exquisite. And they do it in a way that you know you have to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean this is this is laughable. This like this isn't even even if they cut all these numbers in half, this would still be laughable. Like the the free XP rewards are like please grind one Friesland and one Nelson for this directive. Like I'm sorry, what? <laughs> It's it's insane. It is just utterly insane. I I, I looked at the quest line earlier and I just went. These directives the are impossible. If you're like, a, and, and you know, like we're good and players an yeah. and we can stack every camo and flag and shit. Yeah, and even then it looks daunting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now imagine if you're the average player who doesn't have you know camos or things like that. It's it's, it's impossible. You can't do it. Like we have hundreds of thousands or whatever camos and flags. But most people don't have that. I talk to a lot of players, and they're like, "Man, we're struggling on the economy yeah, of the I... EXP or the grind," and and they're they're somehow assuming that these normal players can do this when we no, no, they're not. are going to struggle as as unicorns and getting basically huge amounts of experience, like averaging what fifteen twenty thousand a battle, and we're still looking at that number and going, "Holy shit, how do we finish this?" Yeah, yeah, no, and that, that's why the basic speed value, especially, is completely. I don't, I don't think they're even looking. I, they, they, they intentionally made this impossible. I, I, I don't yeah. think, I don't think you can defend this in any way. You don't put values like that and go like, "Oh, maybe someone will complete it." No, they intentionally made it a complete fuck show. This yeah, is, it is. This and is just you spend money or don't get the shit. I mean, I mean, how much 2K base experience games do you have? Yeah, exactly. And, and it's it's like, oh, what, 150,000 base experience? That's 75 fucking games of 2K base experience on an average game length that's like, what, 15 minutes? Like, just how? How the fuck do Wargaming just sit there and be like, yeah, this is going to work? Like, they, yeah. they basically aren't even hiding it anymore. They I, used I mean, but they, this is exactly like NTC. They, 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 we, what did we, when NTC came out, we were like, this is ridiculous. The player base is going to revolt. They're going to, they, this is never going to work. Everyone is going to complain and Wargaming just went like, la, 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 I can't hear you, la, 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 this is a great idea. And then they publish NTC and you had literally like sites, fan sites shutting down in protest and we're just sitting there like, we fucking told you. So like, why yep, don't you exactly. ever listen? <laughs> It's just incredible. It's, it's absolutely fucking incredible. Like, I, can't, I could not believe this. I looked at this directive earlier, and during my stream, I was looking at this, and I was just like, how 
in the actual fuck did some people sit down and be like, yeah, this is going to be fantastic. Like, I just could not wrap my mind around that. <laughs> They're hoping people wouldn't pay too much attention and they could make some money. That's my guess. Oh, and then you know what the worst thing is? Oh, yeah, one of my co-op games, my first co-op game of the night when I was trying to knock the snowflake off, yeah. I already saw Puerto Rico. Somebody <laughs> yeah, already had I, one. I wanted one guy in my in, in like my Discord posted a picture of acquiring it. And it was like something like 58,000 doubloons or something just instantly. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the guy, those and the are guy the guys who had guys it. Wargaming target. Those are the guys that oh, they and, won. And, and the guy who had it in my game, the guy who had it, guess how many battles he had? A couple hundred. 126. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Well, I mean, those are those are those are the whales. Those are the like guys were gaming low. I, I mean, just, let, let's not for a second pretend like they're catering to the free to pay, free to play players. Those are, eh, those are, those are the roadkill on the way when they're trying to target the whales. It's, I like literally. I think what we're gonna see this entire Christmas season is a massive influx of bots. Which I really don't mm -hmm. want to see, but that's that's yeah, my I guess. Mean, is just we're gonna yeah. see bots galore in this game right now. We're I mean, gonna see these yeah. like shit accounts that you know have like you know three thousand battles in the course of like a month. Yeah, I mean that's literally the only way. I, I could even easily, easily see even your average player who's like, well, I want to get Puerto Rico, but wargaming has made it impossible. So when I go to sleep, I'll just leave my bot on, like shit like that. <laughs> we're, we're probably gonna see yep. that. And uh, yep. and I mean. Uh, but hey, don't worry, you can just report him and Wargaming's excellent reporting system will instantly remove the bot from your games. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm going to leave you back to your stream, but yeah, it's just yeah. like unbelievable, man. Yeah, I can't, thanks I for the heads just... up. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, right. <laughs> later. Um, yeah, 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 well, can I, chat, can we get some applause for Wargaming? I couldn't have imagined a better way of fucking up the holiday season and making a PR shit show, but well done. This is, this is, wow. This is exemplary. This is exemplary. This is beautiful. Well done. Well done. The shit show has arrived. Truly beautiful. <laughs> right. Now I don't want to look at my fucking hair anymore. I'm going to turn off the webcam chat. <laughs>